It's our final installment of Local Heroes, Help for Haiti. Tonight, we follow some of the relief effort from Florida and take a look inside some of the medical treatment tents in Port-au-Prince. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick spent several days in Haiti. She brings us this report. In January, we interviewed local anesthesiologists Matt Link and Jared DeAvey before they left for Haiti. As Link prepared to head back home from the Port-au-Prince airport, he told me his life has been changed forever. But you're happy you came. I'm very happy. I would come back. DeAvey shared some of the images that touched him the most with me on our flight home. He decided to stay on when his group flew home the week before. The children he met changed his life. He operated on dozens a day in a hospital set up by the University of Miami. One of the most amazing moments I witnessed came when I accompanied a group of acupuncturists to the general hospital. Many of the patients in this tent are amputees or suffer from fractured and crushed bones. They are getting needles in their ears to help treat stress, pain, emotional trauma, and physical trauma. Three women from Acupuncturists Without Borders began working with them immediately. After 10 minutes, amazingly, some smiles started to appear. Her head was turning around before the needles for her. Now she feels blood, blood better. But speaking with the patients after they got the treatment, they really felt better. They felt relaxed. They felt like they had more energy. It's really amazing to see the people in this tent smile. Curious family members watched the change in their injured loved ones, and they seemed to relax. Patients in other tents migrate over, asking for the treatment. Even the doctors noticed the despair evaporate from inside the steamy room. The treatment that we're doing is very good for post-traumatic stress. So after the needles go in, it's not uncommon to see some emotional release as it helps to take their nervous system into a calmer mode. In total, the acupuncturists treated over 100 people in one day. And most people they treated were thankful for the help. In fact, that's one sentiment that was made very clear on this trip. The foreign help does not go unnoticed. Every donation you send makes a difference. Even those clinging to life in hospital beds expressed thanks for food, medical supplies, and people that are flooding in. They tell me they will never forget how the world came to help save this isolated, struggling nation when they needed it most. Mia McCormick, SNN Local News 6. Acupuncturists Without Borders plan to send in rotating crews that will continue the treatment and eventually branch out into mobile clinics. To follow their progress, you can log on to www.acwb.info.